Hey everybody, can you hear? Welcome back to our Hellslave playthrough. Last time we defeated Baal, Lord of Lies and Plague. After <laughs> taking way too long to figure out that puzzle. Because I read the lore wrong. <laughs> going oh it's got to have something to do with this here all about this one here not all about this one right here that tells you straight out what the order is and which ones to turn off <laughs> like it's just I, like uh because like the one that mattered i just kept on misremembering and i just kept thinking that this one said that the scholar, I'm sorry, that the mystic and the madman can ever fall asleep at the same time. Instead of the mystic and the scholar. <laughs> yeah, that is on me. Get to the abandoned fortress. Okay, so there's something here. Get over here first. Oh, let's see what this is. The outer wall of the, of the citadel continues to the right. How about to the left? Always left first. Always. This direction leads to a dead end. Here it does. What's in the dead end? Ah. A horrible stench emanates from the hole. A part of the fortress has collapsed, as if there has been an earthquake. Okay. It really was dead end. Nothing to examine there. Yeah. Gotta go here to get in. I'm popping up. Right. Nothing there. Yep, nothing there. Main door is closed. One can clearly hear suspicious noises on the other side. Alright. Can't do anything. So we just leave. Yeah. Just leave and report. Possible to go in, but strange noises leave very little doubt. leaves no doubt they are preparing their final assault from the fortress of course it's impossible to enter just like that by chance i know a way in the fortress was used by the garrison when i was young but the earthquake made it too dangerous there is a passage through the sewers accessible from the outside wall i hope it's still possible to enter from there okay so left was the way just wanted to waste our time <laughs> Node passage through the sewers will allow me to end get inside the fortress. Okay. Stinky sewers. Nothing there. Jump in. But you're in the sewers now. Or we're in the inner wall. Another two. Toilets of the fortress. The smell is... Pestilential? Training spear. Actually... I need a guard spear, not a training spear. Just play that. Ah. New recipe. Yes. Let's see.
Yeah, so, let, so even though the stuff we want on that side, let's clear this side first. Demonic Shrine. Somehow bail is still an option. <laughs> Okay, Lucifer. It looks like the cellars of the fortress. Okay, another fast snake trainer flute. Give it. A pile of abandoned possessions. Out of headless people here. Executor X. The portcullis is closed. I mean, maybe it's for that. First, we'll check there. Look on this side, right? Yeah. There. Okay. Rusty crank. Okay. And so I think this one is for that, and this one is for that. Or no, no, you have to do both in order to open this. Okay. Okay, so this is actually a dead end. I should have done that first. Yeah. I'll get into the random battle on the way here first. Hmm, lots of health. Berserkers go insane. Where didn't stand guard and deflect damage. Ten of these. For Zane. Now save it up for now. We want to have as much time on that as we can get. So let's do. Berserker. If we attack, we go all the way here. That's with 60%. Four. Seven. That's regular time. I mean, like, it always takes it into account on the timeline, right? When we have buff going. It's where it does. Just in case, we want to we want to do this before they go. Or... Dane.
Okay, that one's down. Will we survive? Good. Right. Get our heal on. Follow the devil. Guy first. Can't wait for the poison. Now yeah, we need the crit. Splinter braced it. Three percent armor. Deflect damage when you're attacked in melee. Increased melee damage. When you're hit in melee, you gain rage. Not bad. Don't need that. Okay. Where do you? human being can only be fulfilled through effort. Not just any effort, true effort. The one that brings to boiling a fusion. The effort that will melt everything in you, form only one being. The effort, the effort, unto death if necessary. Yeah, so I've changed my ghost voice because uh, in... The session that I listened to, like my uh, my noise noise suppression thing, went and cut me off when I was using the like ethereal voice. So, no more of that. Yep. It's closed. Okay. Go open the door.
Okay. I should die with our... Momentum. Focus on this guy. Nagging Infernal Skull. Support item that gives rage at the beginning of combat. In a fight, you spit fire at a random enemy that deals magical damage equal to your amount of rage points. Your level boosts the damage inflicted. 10% for each level. Interesting, but not for us. And it's Dicer. We have one of those ready? And that's Broadsword. Callus is open. The more soldiers. Seems like they're keeping a prisoner alive. Range. Hit the train in. Uh, hit the train in for different combat styles. Great Traveler Boots. I think I have a pair of those. Grab it just in case. This part of the training room has been destroyed. Oak Bark. I'm gonna take it just in case the next thing is for shields. Or for defensive items. Monic Shrine. Okay. Okay, let's see what we get. Same guys. Zane when they get close.
weird. And that's convenient. I swore his was high enough that it would have killed him in his next turn. Oh. Standard bear has war cry. Three cons. We've got that coming up right now. Use a con. Up a little. Send the berserker. Thirst for blood. Okay, so you can bleed us now. And bleed you. More thirst for blood. That hit on us. Gonna get that heal before we lose a chance. Poison. Yep, don't care about those. Apparently, they keep a prisoner alive. Strange. Nothing here. I just, oh, can't just walk in there. that. The garrison dining room. Rearrange to organize gru a gruesome banquets. We just find these headless guys everywhere we go. Hmm. 
Do we pick the thing up? Oh, we did. An old scroll containing a scrawled message. What said big... What said big boss to Zergo is like what the old guy with beard said. That strikes hard on the anvil is that we take the teeth of demons, that we melt them with infernium, we can kill even more Harald with bestial axe, butcher, cleaver, and ferocious slasher. Demon tooth, infernium, bestial axe, torturer, cleaver, ferocious slasher. I don't think we have any of those. Yeah. I haven't found any of their stuff yet. Demonic Shrine. What just happened? Hmm. I am confused. Treasure room. Interesting. Light axe. I will take it just so we can see if it works for any of the which call it? All these years of sorrow. We were angels, and he made beasts out of us. Does he deserve to be called God? She whom I loved when she saw me in this state. She ran away. When I put my hand on her, she screamed. And you, Herogs, you called him the God of love. If I have deserved my fate, then you deserve yours. Death to all of you. The Carbia. Inconsolable beast. That is sad. Okay. Gotta do a... Will con before he goes. Yes, we do have that. Five percent chance. So aggravating. Oh. What?
Oh. Yeah, I'd forgotten how that worked. For some reason, I was thinking that that, that one uh, that doubled the, uh, the poison they had on them. I don't know why I was thinking that, but that was what I was thinking. Didn't even give me the option to target them. Want to use it yet? Getting close. I need healing flask. This one will definitely double whatever they have. Well, I mean, it's only going to add 50. And only 50 to the boss. Well, the boss and the one on the left. On the right, only get 70. Well, up to 70. Should I go double instead? I think I should. Gotta play the long game. Down. Kill. Intentionally knocked out the boss right away. <laughs> Work curse, sorcerer shoes. Armor, when you deal damage with a spell, you steal health. Chance of magical crit. Yeah. Who those? Auditor drape. See, we don't need all these extras. like five things right one of them was the money like the money one of them was the shoes two of them were these
Oh, this. Astrologer, astrologer drape. Yeah. There was something on the altar. Key to the chapel. Covered in wax and blood. It says chapel there. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm sure what to do about that. Corpses? No, they're still breathing. What? Shh. You're going to wake them up. They're having sweet dreams. Dreams in which they are free. Where they are reunited with their families. It's delicious. All that hope. And when they wake up, their tears are even more delicious. Come join my little flock and let me suck out your soul. Egenti, Dream Devourer. Oh, so two bosses in this area. Cool. Well, at least two bosses. Not at the end yet. Alright. What do we got? This is just top off a little. It said that he sucked out two things. Either obviously he sucked out some rage, but what else did he suck out? Hmm. Doesn't look like we took anything else. Rage theft, rage theft. Why is it two different colors for rage theft? Okay, you got a shield up. Possible to heal life or mana. Hmm. 20 seconds. If we were doing a rage build, then this probably be an issue for us. And when he does rage theft, he also takes some of our health. Six seconds left on that. Bail up.
Hmm. Why do we still have this? Cover a little bit of health. Sorcerer armor. Armor. Enemies lose. Lose damage. Do they mean they take 20 damage? Or they're saying that they. Like we reduce the amount of damage they can deal by that much every 10 seconds. That's crazy if that's what that does. And every. 10 seconds, you get absorption points. Wow. There's no 10 mana. And right now, like, our absorb is... You know, only one over that. And we... We're getting that every 10 seconds. Wow. And we lose a little bit of armor, but... That is really nice. I mean, we lose 10 health also. That's a really good piece. More Gravedigger garments. Pointy mace. I think this is one of the things we need. Let's see. He was guarding a key. Key to the pantry. Smells like human flesh. Oh. Excerpt from a soldier's diary. It's the noise of the bellows under the cooking pots that wakes us up, for no ray of light can pass through the walls of the citadel, no more than the light of dawn or dusk. We're served a sort of hot soup in wooden bowls with a loaf of bread that we must share with our brothers in arms, our companions of misery. I've been here for six months, six more to go. No more little seasonal breeze, no more of the cold and the humidity of the countryside in winter short of the suffocating nights in summer. We are intentionally withheld out of the world in a stone maze to toughen us up, kill the appetite for the world inside of us, the curiosity, poetry, become soldiers, become men that will give death and will be ready to receive it in exchange. For that, we have to die a little on the inside. Dying on the inside, that's why these walls are so thick. The Ubalettes of the Fortress. Dallion of Remembrance. Every 10 seconds you gain one health. Torture Room. The instruments are still hot. Hey, you are dance, finally.
What? You can re-pray at shrines? I am so confused. Cons, shales, a gore. I guess we'll do a shale gore. Oh, it must have been gore shale. I got the order wrong. race. Orc war pants. Lots of armor. When you hit in melee, you gain rage. When you hit melee, no, when you are hit in melee, you gain more rage. You deflect damage when you are attacked in melee. Why did these things reset? Yeah, all the things reset. Going on.
This is very strange. Revised a visa of, sen of sentence to death. Armor, chance of blocking. When you hit in melee, you gain mana. No, when you are hit in melee, you gain mana. When you hit in melee, you gain rage. Obviously, you won't be using that. Scout. First time seeing a scout. Let's focus on the sky first then. Why am I getting mana back when I hit? Not sure where that's coming from. Yeah, so we tried Shale Gore and that wasn't anything. Gore. Shale. Yeah. Four shales, mana drain.
done. And you dodged. Was really bad. Really, really bad. Actually, right, so let's use mental fluidity. Go back to foggy state. Regular one. There is Zane Khan. Zane Call of the Devil. Yeah, the scouts are super dangerous. These guys are crazy dangerous. Orc warrior helmet. Rage at the beginning of combat. Chance of hitting increased. When an enemy dies, you gain health. Open this now. Okay, so these didn't reset. One of those bottom ones reset. But I don't know why. Dirty door with two locks. there. Prisoner. Okay, here's another one. 
Well, well. Wasn't expecting that visit. But it's perfect. I'll get rid of you both at the same time. The puppet of God and the whore of Satan. An unexpected duo to rise up against us. The eternal evil. If you die today, tomorrow we will come back. What you call courage, heroism, sacrifice, will only be a paragraph in the book that recounts your story. And I, Beelzebub, the Zul Khan, will turn the page of that chapter. I don't think we're going to be able to pull this one off. <laughs> I do not think so. And we can Zul Khan. And Zul Khan. Get a quick heal. dodge anymore that's not good it is not good that we cannot dodge anymore <laughs> that is incredibly bad for us Worst thing that could have happened. Right, that's into fluidity. Get as much back as we can. <laughs> Still off terror for another 12 seconds, man. To flex the next attack. Let's waste one of these. bad place.
is the worst. The absolute worst. There's no way we're going to be able to survive this. That does keep stacking. And he dodged. Oh, you sons of bitches. Okay, figure's finally done. Right on time. We survived it. <laughs> Beelzebub's claws. Your blows killed Beelzebub, Lord of Hatred, or something. I didn't. I missed the last part. <laughs> Level eleven. We got an active and passive point. More health and mana. Yeah, I don't think these stack. Or maybe they do. Another cursed arm band. Another one of those. Martyr's pants. I don't think I've seen these before. When you get hit, get health and rage back. You absorb the first 10 damage received. Slightly worse than the pants we're currently wearing. Other than the fact that we get a little bit of health back when we get hit. Fortress Escape Cape. 5% chance of dodging, and when you dodge, you gain health. Full as full can be. I owe you my life. We will talk later. Let's leave this place. Ah. Oh. You bastards. <laughs> oh well. Done is done. Before we do anything. Abandon Citadel. Beelzebub and his soldiers are dead. Let's bring this prisoner to the village. Alright. So if you get this, it's a one-time thing. No recharge on that.
Yeah, this is the one we need. Yeah, none of these. And none of those are a massive boon to us right now. Wound aggravation is huge for what we're capable of. Let's get this, uh, since we keep on like building up all that rage that we can't do anything with. Yeah. I don't care about any of these anymore. None of this. We won't be touching any of that stuff. Don't really care about this either. But just amplitude, survival instinct. Battle walker. Anatomic vision. Cannibalism and wound section. The only currently available ones that I care about. Which is a lot, but. <laughs> That's the direction we'll be headed in. Buy all this crap off me. Too much. stuff together. Armored Jacket of the Insane. Reduced chance to dodge, rage at the beginning of combat, more rage, when enemy dies, gain health. The Bayon Grip. Armor, chance of blocking. Melee damage, when you hit, you gain rage. That's just the stuff I sold him. that need a silver hard lance iron silver have a Lance of Niblath, 5 to 14, melee damage, sweep, and increased chance to crit. Okay, we have all the Niblath now. Bestio Axe, Torture Cleaver, Ferocious Slasher. For some reason, I thought one of them was called Pointy something. 
Yeah, so we still haven't found... We've done all of these. Never found the bestial axe, a torture cleaver, or a ferocious slasher. Upsetting. So we go and just take all of the stuff that's legendary or whatever yellow means. Put all that together. stuff. Put all that's together. If it's not special at all, we sell it. Did not have a pair of those in there. regrets. Okay, when I saw type, I thought it was going to like, like let me see, like by hitting that, I thought it was going to like put like a special like overlay or something. Let me know like what the types were on each thing. But it was just for sorting. Now it is all a mess.
getting this crafted. Here. Food rations back over here. Stuff that maybe can be used for crafting, put down here. Stuff that's going to be sold over here. Work stuff. I mean, the only reason I'm going to hold on to this is because it has chance of hitting on it. And if I can get like a full set of chance of hitting, I want to see if I can get to 100%. Just to see if like something can still dodge you if you have 100%. No reason to hold on to this. Like this could be good. Like we won't be dealing damage with a spell. So that. This is the one that is going to replace what we're currently wearing. Lots of mana on a regen. Hold on to that. only reason I'm not tossing this is that I don't know for certain that this isn't a ritual dagger. So if we get further into the game and we never find the ritual dagger, then I'm going to try to use that. Definitely not going to be switching back to that. Sell it. Like, I'm going to keep this one because of the fact that 
that we can health stack with it. So if a situation comes up where we just need loads of health, then I want to have that with me. And the resistance thing, and get rid of that. Get rid of this. Let's do the same for anything in here. We're not doing magic damage. Get rid of it. Not doing magic damage. Get rid of it. Boss it. Yeah, get rid of it. Yeah, there's never going to be a time where we're going to want this over what we're wearing right now. Get rid of this. Two-handed, so get rid of it. Okay. Now we put away all of these. Get rid of this too. I really hope one of these is going to end up being something we need for a recipe. This is all the stuff we're not selling. We're selling everything here except for these. Elzebub, Lord of Anger, is dead. The spirits feel appeased by your exploit. Before you arrived, we had lost all hope, and we thought our hour had come. But the Valley of Nevlath is safe, and it will heal. Needless to say, you are very welcome here, hero. As for me, I will repair the blood of Beelzebub for you. More melee damage, chance to crit. The recovery at the end of the fight. Yeah, more crit chance. More often we crit, the faster combat will be ending. You're making progress. That's good. The more progress you're making, the more you like the taste of hell. Don't say no to me. You're not going to quit now, are you? Poor humans. They need you. They're hero. <laughs> okay, so this should be the angel dude. Do 
Demon Skull Wand. None of the things. with a demon, didn't you? That explains your power. Ironically, you might be the only being able to stop this invasion. Who am I? Hmm. I'd rather not go into too much detail. I had a mission. I was captured in the city of... Abatardes? To the east. The situation there is far worse than here. I owe you my life. But I must say that usually I'm supposed to get rid of people like you. Yes, yes. You must think I'm ungrateful. Never mind. For now, you must leave this land and lay low for a while. Whether you like it or not, you're already one of them. Sooner or later, you'll become a threat. Of course, I figured you would react that way. I told you everything you need to know. Farewell. Okay. Thank you for everything you've done. You're a true, you're a hero true. What? You want to go east immediately. Fortunately, the bridge leading to the east has collapsed because of the earthquake. I don't see any other way to get across. Sorry, but I overheard your discussion. You want to go east and keep on fighting those demons? Maybe I can help you with the broken bridge. I've learned a lot of... I've learned a lot thanks to my research. Let's go. We'll see what we can do. To the east. Prisoner told me that the invasion came from the east, but the road leading there is blocked. Johan would try something so we can go through. Let's let's go. Okay. That's where we'll pick up next time. So we have taken out Baal and Beelzebub. So that leaves Leviathan, Asmodeus, Lucifer, and Satan. Like, Barith, I guess, is going to be the servant of one of them, because they weren't one of the options. Yep, but we are... Incredibly powerful. Honestly, like there were many situations there where I didn't think we were strong enough, and it turned out we were. We were more than strong enough to handle it with what we currently are capable of. Like our next big upgrade is going to be just gaining the ability. Uh, to recover a little passively. Once we have that, then we can focus on amplitude. Because amplitude, that'll just be. I mean, like if we can get a double hit to <laughs> to trigger amplitude. And all of those manage, and again, if all of those manage to crit, then we could get like crazy poison stacks going. Because <laughs> like, the more we can crit, the more poison we can get on enemies, and the more poison we get on enemies, the faster things go. Like, we are scaling. <laughs> That's gonna be it for this one. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by and checking me out. In the playthrough, appreciate you doing all YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, be Victus, Arizona Maris, and bye.